All right, parents, if you're sitting at home and you're thinking, I don't want to overcommit, and I've heard right. stories about drama and volunteer situations for right. kid. <laughs> Should I volunteer for my child's activities or avoid it? All right, we got Dr. Martha Durham here to yes. talk kind of how to, to deal with all of it. Because yeah. especially new parents, you find yourself doing it all. Right. And then you're like, whoa, okay. <laughs> then you start to take steps back. Right. So the answer is always volunteer. Uh -huh. I'm just going to say that right off the bat. Um, and the more that we volunteer, the more likely we are to not have to do as much, like the more people that volunteer. Right. And let's say there is drama. You've heard about drama. Well, if you have a lot of volunteers, the ones who are volunteering for the wrong reasons will kind of be pushed, pushed out. out. I hate to say that. Yeah. But it's also pretty rare. Like if you have 100 volunteers, you might have one that's doing it for the wrong yeah. reasons. And I'm like, what are the wrong reasons? You're just trying to look cool? Just trying to look like Power you're... control? It's mm -hmm. like if you hear about a homeowner's association and there's someone who's got an iron fist on something. Yeah. That's so rare. Okay. I just want to say that because I volunteered all through school and I think it's really important. Um, and especially because of the outcomes we see in kids. So volunteering in a classroom mm -hmm. and in the school setting and then outside the classroom and extracurriculars and stuff like that. So in a school setting, there's two types of research. One handles kids with disabilities like ADHD or autistic spectrum disorder. You really have to be engaged. They usually have a 504 and IEP and you really have to be involved at the school level to make sure that accommodations are being followed because those kids need a level playing field. Right. And the parent involvement, involvement is very important. And even at home, like limiting um, TV and gadgets and stuff while you're making sure they get their homework done. Right. Okay. If you go to the other side, you can be too involved in your kids' academics if they're, they don't have any sort of disability and they're basically doing what they should do. You don't want to over control. Right. You know, using everything as a carrot to do homework or stuff like that. They have to be independent and grow up. So it's kind of, you have to look at who the child is if you're doing classroom volunteering. Yes. And that makes so much sense, too, because it's almost like the older the kids, and the, you know, in the beginning, mm -hmm. I mean, you know when they have every single little quit, every, right. you know what I mean? Right. And then now it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I just took a huge social studies test yesterday. Oh, great. How'd you do? You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. And I never thought you would kind of be that cavalier about it. Right, but, but it's because they're learning to be independent uh -huh. and that's what you want as adults. And again, you know, you really have to know your child. Over control or hovering can be a very bad thing. It can decrease performance. If you're not paying enough attention when you have a child who's got something going on, that can decrease performance. So you just have to know your kid. Right there in the middle. And then real quick, to the parent that kind of feels the guilt, someone may yes. ask like, hey, can you help join this PTA committee right. or do that? Right. And you just don't have the time. Right. Do you make an excuse or you just flat out say, I love y'all, I don't have time right now? Well, I think if you don't have time, you don't want to do it resentfully. Mm -hmm. So I think just being honest and saying, I can't do that, but then find other ways. You know, a financial contribution is very important. Right. And then there are people who can't make that financial contribution, then use your time and yes. help with football, band, chorus, any, you know, anything, or PTA. So just figure out how you can do it. Yeah. Um, and I would say to folks who are very busy, because I'm very busy, uh -huh. and I've been volunteering a lot, find that one way you can. Right. Um, because your children see that, and also the school get to know you, and, and they trust and you. you get to know what goes on in the school. Yes, you do. And yes, you important. do. Dr. So. Martha, we love you. NorthmainCounseling.com is where you can go if you want to talk to Martha a little bit yes. more one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks, yes. girl. All right.